Greetings, friends, and welcome back to our, my channel. I'm Love Fuller, and this is Mr. Fuller. Hello. And we missed our flight. This is the first time missing a flight together. Okay, so this is what, what had happened was, okay, this guy. It was? Is that really what happened? You didn't know what time it was? Mm -hmm. I knew what time it was when we woke up. Cause he's like calm, cool, and collected. I'm like, you chilling, like going in a really slow motion. I'm like, okay, we got lots of time. Cause I never looked at the clock in the first in the first place, but I did know what time we said we we're gonna get up, and I was just like, mm, this is strange. Cause usually, you know, military guys like chop, chop, chop. And we were like the most calm people who ever messed a plane you ever did see. Cause then we have four minute lay, four hour layover in Miami, at, and they have their lounge sucks. Cause it's just a restaurant. It's not like a, a lounge like we can relax. So we might as well sit here. And then we still probably will have time in Miami. Okay, so the lounge in Miami, it's called the Corona Lounge and it's in um, Corona. So well, I'm not drinking any Corona, but I can't drink, <laughs> I can't drink on the plane because the plane makes me. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh. Uh uh. And you know we're in the airport, an international airport, where it's like, uh. We're going to Exuma, where food is very expensive, and it's like you can only get it at a restaurant where people like like cook restaurant. There's no there's no fast food or anything like that. So um, at that at the um, lounge, but it is like you get a thirty dollar credit. So and the, the the dishes are about twelve dollars, fifteen dollars, and they add like a, a eighteen percent gratuity or something like that, um, plus tax. But I last time I paid like maybe like five dollars or ten dollars or something like that, um, and then I ended up got my meal and then I took something with me and I had it in my refrigerator for a couple of days and exhumed in case I needed in case I needed backup food. Is that a thing? Backup food? Oh, I got this. This um I got this from this guy in Walmart. God is within her so she will not fail. Psalm forty six five. I never heard of that song. I'm gonna look it up. What if it's not real? Psalm 46. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is within us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Of course, we don't know the context, but it's real. So the other plane that we just that we've been sitting out it's been sitting outside the whole time. It was delayed. That's crazy. Okay, so we got our tickets. We I was always getting an aisle seat, and um, they said they were only able to give us because we were on standby. They were on. They, they called all these people. I was like, oh gosh, what's gonna happen? Because I want my aisle seat. So he, they were able to get us aisle across from each other. So that's fine. I like to put a pla get a plastic bag to put in there. Um, to put my stuff in there. Like put my stuff in here in a plastic bag because ew, ew, ew. I don't have one. <laughs> I have this bag, but it's not plastic. It's my bag. Uh, I don't know. If that's worth it's gonna contaminate my bag. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Would you use your um your fabric bag that you can wash? Or would you use this? I mean, we just put it in there. Gross. Oh, here's a bag. Ugh, gross. What I often do is I take the plastic bag from the from the blanket. They wrap the blankets in plastic bags. Look at this guy. Getting props because he has multiple hats on his head. So that his hats don't get crushed. And he gets to take three hats with him on his trip. He's going to carnival. I spoke to him. He's going to carnival. I guess in the Caribbean, like Mardi Gras carnival. Carnival. Tip: If you're sitting in the aisle, do not like get settled in and um like buckle your seatbelt and stuff because obviously, duh, people have to get in. 
I mean, like, do we? I don't need. I didn't ask you for all these airline tips. But I'm just saying, maybe some things you hadn't thought about, like the hat. The hat thing, wearing three hats at once. You hadn't thought of that. And I'm gonna show you what's in my my little bag. Let me know if you want to see that video. Maybe I'll put it up next. Here's tip number four. So most of us know that the armrest between the seats can lift up. You just pull it up. But did you know that in some airplanes, the armrest in the aisle can also lift up? So here's how it works. You just have to find the little button that's underneath the armrest right there. And then you just press it and lift it up. Voila! You're welcome. In case you didn't know, I'm from Miami. Bienvenidos a Miami. Made it to the Corona Lounge. Unfortunately, we missed breakfast. Um, so I didn't get a chance to try something new on the menu. And we have to wait, I think, until they switch over to wait a few minutes. And I am getting hungry. So I'm going to show you what I had, what I ate, and then I'm going to close off this vlog. I remember I told you I was going to get one for here, one to go, but I can't order it that way because that's against their policy. So this is the salad, which it looks like a stupid plain salad. That was no good. They toasted my turkey club today. Mr. Fuller got a nice meal. And that one to go. This is it for me. I um, did have some of these chips, but I'm like, listen, you're not starting me with fried food. And I'm taking this rest to go. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in Exuma, Bahamas. Ciao, friends.